six foot four Balenciaga all black. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Alexis. Today I'm going to teach you how to do your own faux locks with short hair. If you're anything like me, you have very short hair at the moment. You just want to achieve a protective style on your hair. And that's literally what I've been trying to achieve. So without further ado, let's get started. If you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Alright guys, so I've done most of my head and this is what I have left. I'm going to quickly tell you what I used and how, like how to get this. So first I'm going to quickly tell you everything that you'll need to use so that it can be really easy when I explain like how and why I'm doing stuff. So much easier that way. For my faux locks, I am using the Maid or Mayday, not sure, Beauty Braiding Hair. It's the Wavy Island Gorgeous Locks in the 16 inch. This is the longest length that I could find in my local beauty supply. I actually wanted them longer, but it's okay. These are the color 1B because that's what matches close to my hair. These faux locks are supposed to be lightweight, natural texture, easy to crochet, and they're already pre-looped to save you a ton of time. Other products that I also use is Edge Booster, Shine and Jam to like help me gather my hair and make it more neater. Just like pretty much grease and like a holder so that it'll look really, really nice. Also use Rovans, of course, and a like a metal tooth comb so that I can make my parts as straight as I wanted them to be. Now you can do your parts however you want them. I decided to do my parts like this. Some of my knots are like small in certain places, but for the most part, they're all the same size. I have this portion left over. I'll start off with this one and work my way like over and just complete all the rows until I get to the front. So for the first one, I forgot to mention my crochet tool, which is something that you need. What you should start off doing is taking your crochet tool, opening it up, and then slide it through your already rubber band hair. You're going to take your crochet hair and loop it onto the tool, close the tool, and then pull it through your hair. You then grab your hair and grab the faux lock and then put it through through the loop and then there you go that is like the first part to doing this now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take some edge control and i'm going to grease my hair so i can kind of make it like a little a little bit stiff i'm going to take a piece of the pre-loop i cut the pre-looped hair you're going to want to take one of the strings and you're going to want to cut it at the top and separate it You'll leave one on the side because you'll need that later. You'll take one of the pieces that you separated. You're going to grab your hair, your, your natural hair, and you're going to start at the base of your hair, the root, and you're going to start twisting this piece onto your hair. What this is doing here, this is helping blend your hair in with the faux lock. If you do not do this, what's going to happen, especially if you have short hair, you're not going to be able to twist in your natural hair with this lock because your hair is so short. What's going to happen is, is your hair is going to end up poking out if you don't like secure it in like this. So what I'm doing right now is pretty much doing it, doing like the regular style of how faux locks are done. I'm just twisting this extra piece onto the faux lock and it's blending right in because of course it's the same hair it's super easy what you want to try to do is uh keep the curly part of the piece you use so you see like at the top there's like the part i cut and at the end is the curly part i like to keep that for the end of this because it'll just settle in to the hair really well it'll kind of just loop itself around the hair now the faux lock looks really skinny right now but after I finish, it'll just go voila. And there you go. You have your faux lock and you, your hair is secured in to it. Now, don't worry about the fact that it looks like it's coming loose right here because we're going to seal that with hot water later. But yeah, it's pretty simple after that. So you just want to repeat this. And honestly, it's okay if it does this because it almost looks like a curl. It almost gives it that more, more bohemian look. By the way, I purchased five packs of this. I only am ending up using four packs of this hair. Walking down. Oh, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned when you loop your hair in the faux lock through, you want to make sure you pull the base of it tight. That's what they all say, yeah. 
Everyone's looking at me thinking that I'm different Everyone's looking at me thinking that I'm living But I don't really care what they all say It's easier said than done That guy Loving to live forever But it all comes down to Downtown and I'm okay Eyes on me, I don't know what to do So I smile and I wave right. Everyone's looking like they know what they're doing Everyone's looking like they know what I'm pursuing I'm trying not to give them the time of day It's easier said than done That guy
of the faux locks. I am now going to get some hot water and dip them in hot water. So because I'm dealing with hot water and I don't want to burn myself, I have gotten my lovely assistant here, Michael, to come and help me dip my hair in the hot water. It's just easier. I don't have to worry about like burning myself. We'll just do this really quick and then I'm done. So I'm just going to put the towel up over my ears here. And Michael, you'll just grab the bowl and you'll just start dipping my hair. look with the faux locks as you can see they look amazing they look really really great I'm really really proud with my final product of these as you can see like the pieces that I even like dipped and that unraveled after I dipped my hair into hot water I went back and retwisted them and now they stay because like the hair is more nappier now so because it's synthetic hair that's just what it does when it gets into hot water it kind of locks in so all those pieces that kind of unraveled now they're like starting to stick as the hair dries and it just looks really 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 good even if it unravels it'll just give me a few curls and i'm happy with that i love this i'm definitely going to do sorry my hair my hair is still kind of wet i'm definitely going to do a styling video just showing you how i style these because i'm in love with them now thank you guys so much for watching today's video sorry i didn't throw on any makeup for you guys definitely thumbs up this video if you liked it until next time guys i'll see you later bye